Let T be the matrix transformation T of X equals AX with the given matrix A. What is the range of T? The range of T or image of T is a set of all output vectors T vector X such that vector X is in RN, or in our case, vector X is in R3. We can find the range a couple ways. Let's first find the form of the output vectors by determining T of vector X for any vector X in R3. We have T of vector X equals matrix A times any vector x in R3. Let's let the vector x in R3 be the vector x, y, z. And now let's find the product. Multiplying the first row by the column matrix, we get zero. Multiplying the second row by the column matrix, we get y and multiplying the third row by the column matrix, we get Z. Notice how the transformation sends the X component of every vector in R3 to zero, and Y and Z can be any real number. So this might be enough to recognize that the range is going to be the XY plane because we have a projection onto the YZ plane. But we'll go ahead and continue. Again, Y and Z could be any real number. Let's parameterize the form of T of vector X by letting Y equal S and z equal t, and therefore t of vector x, all the output vectors, would be in the form of zero st, which we can write as s times the vector zero one zero, plus t times the vector zero zero one. So all the output vectors are linear combinations of the vectors zero one zero and zero zero one, which are the standard basis vectors E2 and E3 in R3. All the linear combinations of these two basis vectors do form the X to Z plane, or the plane given by the equation X equals zero. Let's take a look at this graphically. In this graph, the blue and red vectors are the vectors 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1 in R3. All the linear combinations of these two vectors form the yellow plane, which is the plane X equals zero, or the YZ plane. Again, every point in this yellow plane has an X component of zero. And therefore, this yellow plane is the range we are looking for. So going back to our question, we can go ahead and select the YZ plane as the range. But before we go, the range of T, or the image of T, is equivalent to the column space of the transformation matrix. So if we look at the columns of matrix A, we have the zero vector in column one, we have the vector zero, one, zero in column two, which is the vector E2, and we have the vector zero, zero, one in column three, which is the vector E3. Notice we have pivots in column two and column three, which means the vectors zero, one, zero, and zero, zero, one form a basis for the column space, and also a basis for the range of T. So we can also state the column space of matrix A, which is equal to the image of T, which is equal to the range of T, is equal to the span of the set containing the vectors 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. So this is just repeating the information that we have above. The span of these two vectors would be all the linear combinations of these two vectors, which we already found above, gives us the range of the transformation. I hope you found this helpful.